Hello, my name is Dr. Tim Nuttall and today I'm going to explain to you what to look for and what the symptoms are to know whether or not you've come down with the COVID flu. 80% of all cases are mild and won't necessarily need any medical treatment. If you don't require hospital admission, aren't in a vulnerable group or are a healthcare worker, you are currently unlikely to get a coronavirus test if you show symptoms. If you're in a vulnerable group and think you have it, you need to call your doctor or look online at NHS 111. In most cases, the disease symptoms will appear five to seven days after contact with an infected person, but can take up to 14 days to present. So you most likely won't remember who you bumped into the week before last. So may well not know if you've had contact with an infected person or not. Most common symptom is fever. This occurs in about 90% of cases. It's defined as having a temperature of over 37 degrees. If you don't have a thermometer, if someone else feels your forehead or back and you feel hot, that's a pretty good rule of thumb. The second most common symptom is a dry cough, and that occurs in about 67% of people. Dry means not coughing up any sputum or phlegm. The third most common symptom is shortness of breath, which happens in about 40% of people. And shortness of breath is compared to how you are normally. So if you have a fever, and one or both of the other symptoms, you have to assume that you have the flu and must self-isolate. Other symptoms that occur less frequently but should make you consider your chances of having it are fatigue, which is just generally feeling fluey, a blocked or runny nose, a sore throat, headache, or a loss of sense of smell and or taste. With seasonal flu, which is the normal flu, which is still around at this time, the main difference is speed of onset. You're likely to come down more quickly with more symptoms straight away having met someone with the flu. Very difficult to distinguish and you have to assume that until proven otherwise you do have the COVID flu. A cold on the other hand is not likely to give you a fever and the main symptom is sneezing and a runny nose. So if all you've got of these you're probably okay. But what you should immediately be doing is one, stay at home to not going to work or going into any public spaces. Three, not use any public transport or taxis and not go shopping. Your friends and family should help get your food. If you know you're likely to have it, you must self-isolate. This isn't a choice, it's your duty. It's your duty to protect your community and the society we want to return to. If you do start experiencing increasing difficulty in breathing and shortness of breath, a persistent pain or pressure in the chest, any new confusion or difficulty in waking up, or notice any blueness in your lips or around your lips, you should call the emergency services. The next video is what to do if you or someone in your house has the COVID flu or think you may have a high likelihood of having it from what I've just described. So until then, stay inside and stay well for everybody's sake.